I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. A lot of factors come into play in the demise of a locally made product. These include poor product quality, stiff competition, terrible marketing strategies, and massive rebranding among others. For many of us, however, some of the products from yesteryear are not actually losers, but well-loved brands that are not meant to stay. Instead, they have become obsolete to serve as a nostalgic reminder of how simple lives back then. Take a trip down memory lane with this list of beloved classic Filipino products that have met untimely death. Season's Ice Drop Season was a local manufacturer of ice drops, those delectable alternative to dirty ice cream or expensive snacks sold by Selecta and Magnolia. Famous for all its Filipino flavors such as mongo, buko, queso, and pinipig, Season's ice drops were produced in a factory located at 415417. 419 Trabajo and 540 Verdad Sampaloc, Manila. Before the factory closed down for good, Mongo and Buco flavors were the most popular flavors. Coconut, co -co 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 and people loved Season's ice drops for their delicious but not too overwhelming taste. In fact, the ice drops resemble icicles more they had rich flavoring yet small amount of milk. Negative, I am a meat popsicle. Bataan Matamis Cigarette. Patronized by the masses during the 1940s, Bataan Matamis was a locally made cigarette sold at a cheaper price. It was manufactured by Bataan Cigar and Cigarette Factory in Binondo during an era when smoking was still perceived as acceptable, cool, and refreshing. Unlike other brands of cigarettes, Bataan Matamis had no filter so smokers would inhale, puff, and literally spit out loose tobacco. Aside from Bataan Matamis, the company also manufactured other variants such as Bataan Hebra, Bataan Hebra Blanco, and Balin Tawak Regalis, all of which were heavily advertised in the local magazines and newspapers. Think of it as the thing that has been missing from your hand. <laughs> Halili Beer Long before San Miguel Corporation gained a monopoly of the country's beer industry, there was Halili Beer that gave the former a run for its money. Popular in the 1960s, Halili beer was manufactured by the FF Halili Enterprises, a company established by former Bulacan governor Fortunato Halili. The company, whose brewery was built along Balintawak in Quezon City, also owned other products and business ventures, including Mission Beverages, Goody Root Beer, and Halili Transit. Oh, oh someone just take this away from me! Walling Walling Face Powder Walling Walling was popular in the 1940s. Walling Walling was popular among the masses just like Gloria and Madame X Cosmetics. Most products under these brands were actually imported from China, repacked here, and were given local names. On the other hand, Spanish and American brands were more popular among the affluent. They include Kamai and Gloco from the US, as well as Heno de Pavria and Bella Aurora from Spain. Joy, do you think I'm pretty? Diana Margarine Diana Margarine became popular in the Philippines between the 1930s and 1940. Similar to Star Margarine, this product was sold in cans and did not require refrigeration. It was manufactured in Manila by D.Y. Buncio and Co. Inc. In the endorsement picture, pre-war movie star Carmen Rosales is referred to as the Senorita, the same name of her hit movie produced by Sampaguita Pictures and directed by Dr. Gregorio Fernandez. Sitting next to her is Gloria Del Mundo, Rosa Aguirre, Miguel Anzures and Narding Anzures. Narding, son of Rosa Aguirre and Miguel Anzures, was a popular child actor who would later be convicted of murder for killing actress Lillian Velez and her housemate in 1948. These are just some of the beloved Pinoy products that are no longer available but are still close to our hearts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to see part 2 and more Filipino themed videos.